Incredibly, the run-up to all of that was even more chaotic. Very basically, Liz Truss's chancellor was fired, becoming the second shortest-serving chancellor in British history right after this guy, although at least he had the good excuse of he died. <laughs> then, her Home Secretary, Suella Bravman, was forced to resign after breaching security procedures by using her personal email to send a government document. Then, her own party tore itself apart in a chaotic vote over fracking, prompting one party leader to give an incredible quote, perhaps best delivered by this German news outlet. And if you don't speak German, don't worry, they switched to English for the important part. <laughs> Stellvertretende Fraktionschefs das Parlament mit den Worten verließ I'm fucking furious and I don't fucking care anymore. Perfect. And so much better with a German accent, right? It makes everything sound a thousand times meaner. If someone said to you, nice outfit, you'd be delighted. But if they said, nice outfit, you would kill yourself. At that point, all decorum was basically gone. But perhaps the nadir of all of this was after this contentious interview between a reporter at Downing Street and MP Steve Baker, one of the last Trust supporters. The reporter's mic was left on after the interview had ended, and you could hear him respond to Baker, claiming that he'd asked him a stupid question. Thanks a lot, Steve. It wasn't a stupid question, Steve. You know it. I'm very happy to go up against you on Trust any day. <laughs> <laughs> what a cunt. <laughs> now, now, I know that sounds bad to American ears, but you need to understand there is nothing more quintessentially British than politely thanking someone for a disagreement than cheerily calling them a cunt. It wasn't in the US version, but it is actually how Paddington 2 ends. So, long story short, Truss is out, and this man, Rishi Sunak, is in. And he inherits an even bigger